Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 13 of our Darkness Falls series. I did a little bit of work around here just to kind of tidy some things up. Uh, for starters, I moved my writing desk over behind this. I cleared the barrels out. Also moved my uh, tailoring desk over here. Put a chest up here with all my writing stuff in there. Plenty of people were concerned about this accidentally getting damaged or broken because it is basically made out of matchsticks and it'll blow up the first time you look at it real hard. And plus, I don't use either one of these as often, so I figure I could put it over there and get it out of the way. Uh, let's see, I made myself a metal workbench. They're not really hard to make. Let's see, metal workstation, forged iron electrical parts, and wood. Now, I did use all the electrical parts that I had at the time. I think I have one more left over, and that's it. And I think I got two from wrenching down the, um, the uh, register that was here. And then I moved my campfire over here. And that's pretty much walled up this windows over and stuff over here. So maybe the campfire cooking right next to it won't attract things. Uh, made myself a little bit of food, a little bit of golden water, uh, red, golden, <laughs> golden water, red tea. It's something. Go ahead and drink one of those. Cooked up some grilled yucca. And that's pretty much about it. I uh, cooked all my grilled yucca, which yucca works the same as it does with baked apples. I'm sorry, better than baked apples. Let me swap you around here. We'll save you for later. These actually provide you with eight food. Also, just to show you guys for what I use skill points on, let's see. I put one, actually I put, no, it's not under, where's it at? Hang on, what, what did I spend points on? Science crafting, that's what I put it in. I put two skill points into science crafting because this unlocks the tier one mod crafting and decreases crafting time. But in order to be able to get to the watch, which is what I want to make so I can know what time it is, you have to get to mod crafting level 2, and you got to be in level 30. And I am in level 22. So got a little ways to go before I can do that. And then I put a point into pistols, and I put a point into rifles so that I can make my own ammo. And then I may have put one more point into something else that I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so for everybody who was concerned that I made myself a mini bike instead of any of the in-game, you know, seven days to die specific vehicles. I promise I'm going to be making some of those. I just wanted this to be able to, you know, toddle around early, um, easier. Um, so why is it so dark outside? Huh? What time is it? Am I about to do something stupid? No, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Just the sun's taking forever to come up. Also, I'm going to go ahead and mention real quick, just in case. If my voice makes a crack, if I forget to edit out clearing my throat, I apologize. Allergies have been kicking my butt this last week, like royally bad. And uh, it, it's just been a humongous pain in my butt. And so if I miss editing out me clearing my throat or any of that dumb stuff, I apologize. All right. So I feel like I'm kind of closer to more prepared to go down here. I believe there's stuff down here. I don't know if this is the back side of the other side of the bunker. You know, the, the hatch that's right next to my house that we went... <laughs> really? I get halfway down there, I hear snakes and dogs and... Oh, God. Please, hold on. Crap. Um, hang on. I, I hope those are at least... Are those above me or below me? Behind me? Hang on. Are they outside? <laughs> hang on. I'm trying to make sure, if they're down there, that I can try and whittle them away one at a time. But I want to make sure that making my way halfway down the ladder didn't spawn them in outside my house. <laughs> what was I saying? I'm totally ready to come down here and deal with it. And immediately run back out of the ladder. <laughs> Game, you're just a tra -la, la 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 I see what you're doing here. Alright, so I'm not great on ammo. Holy crap. Okay, so where's all the noise coming from? I don't see anything directly above me. I mean, below me. Nothing above me either. So there's something down here. I do have my pipe machine gun and a little bit of ammo. Okay, so they are... This has got to be just part of the other side of the bunker. And they're just slowly beating, beating in through the concrete walls. That's what it sounds like. Okay, I can deal with you. You're just kind of slowly hobbling a little bit. What? You weren't even moving. Come on, game. You can't hit me if you're not actually moving. Here, stay down, sir. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to do this the smart way. We're gonna have idiots coming up here. I gotta try not to die. 
So I've been told, and I don't know what's down here, but I've been told that this is a good source for some loots and stuff down here. So I want to go check it out. But it definitely sounds like... <laughs> it sounds terrible is what it sounds like. All right, are we good in here for a second? Let's see if y'all brought me any good loot. Uh, crossbow bolts and shotgun ammo. And iron and a paintbrush. Okay, so if you're just straight up walking, I can handle walkers. There's a bunch of dogs up here. Nope. Okay, these chains are throwing everything off here. These chains are kind of cool. I wonder if they're climbable. You know, like the whole ropes, the climbing rope is. Oh, God. There's a bear in there, too. I can hear it. Oh, hey. Good God. <laughs> there's a freaking bear right there. There's... Um... This was not a good idea. This... No. This is not a good idea, even slightly. Um... I wonder if I can take out this bear before he gets out this door. Holy... Okay. Can I close... Here. Haha! -ha, screw you, bear! <laughs> oh my god. This is not cool. Okay. I need to keep an eye on the con... Okay, so there's a bear up there. They're slowly beating that stuff away. Okay, let's run in here and get a look real quick to see what... Oh, oh my god! Look at that! Holy crap, look at all these boxes! Okay, well, let's make sure we're kind of safe for a second. I'm gonna get over here and get overconfident, and everything's gonna come running out of this. Uh-huh. Um... Um, um, okay, we may have to try and deal with that bear before another bear gets in here. Okay, st keep sticking your head through this door. I, I don't think he can get through this door, but I don't want to risk it. Okay, that's slowly working. Holy crap, whose good idea was this? Okay, we, we got plenty of shotgun shells. Let's keep working on him when he's going to glitch through the door. Might as well. Holy crap, <laughs> this was not the greatest idea I've had today. Uh, oh crap, we double shot. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh god. Uh-uh. No. Hang on. What's going on here? Let's, okay, let's have a look. Okay, there's stuff. Hang on, we might be able to... We might be able to kind of tidy some of this up a little bit before they have a chance to get to me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just a little bit at a time. A little bit of time. <laughs> this is insane. Hang on, are we still good down there? We're good down there. We're just going to nut shot all of you to death. Okay, okay. There's some bags in there too. There's a dog. He's just chilling right now, so we'll leave him alone. Alright, we're good. I want this loot that's down there. There's a lot of boxes, and I have a feeling that it's good stuff. Okay, it's getting a little quieter. Where'd that bear go? There he is. Hey, bear. Um, where are the rest of you coming in at? Okay, so that block's being damaged. You know what? If this is cheese, then I'm, yeah, I'm taking the queso. We're just we're just gonna do it. Uh, there's a snake. I guess I accidentally killed. Hey, no. Oh crap. Okay. So the bear's figuring it out. The snake's not dead. The snake is not dead. He's hiffing at me. I mean, technically, if the bear's just gonna stand here, I could save some ammo and just go straight melee. Whoops. I'm just gonna beat him in the face a little bit. Yeah, you're playing coy. I can see your life bar. Oh my god, there are so many footsteps. Okay, I need you to stick your head back out around here. Might as well reload real quick. Hey, I see you playing peekaboo. I'm gonna take you out too. I'm pretty sure the bear that's downstairs is still alive. I don't think I finished killing him. Alright, that one's done. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Accidentally jumped. Alright, now let me see where this bear is. This is gonna be bad. Okay, we double shot at that bear, but at least he's down. <laughs> this is stupid. Hey, what's up, my dude? Okay, I'm gonna have to just... No, I'm not doing that. I need... No, go down just a little bit here. There we go. I'm just gonna whittle away on your knees, sir. Take out the old MCL and you can't do anything about it. 
no, nope, don't beat on the ladder. Trying to save ammo for all the other things with teeth that are coming at me. <laughs> Bears and snakes and dogs. Oh my. <laughs> okay, we're still okay for a second. I took a couple more dings. I need to scooch up just a smidge and use one of these. Kind of get some of that health going back up a little bit. And did I bring any food that actually gives me health? No, I did not. It's okay. It's okay. All right, we're doing okay. I just stay away from the opening a little bit so they stop swinging at me. Okay, uh, you're dead. D snake? Bad snake. Now you're all up in the way here. Come on, Tim. Dance your happy butt back over here. Look at all these loot bags, man. There's one less person there. Can I reach any of these loot bags? How about some ammo? Uh, wire relays. That's not what I wanted to... Oh, hang on. I can't reach that one. Ammo? Uh, wrench. It's not as good as the one I have. Okay, so where's the next batch coming from? Hang on. I gotta make sure that they're not... Alright, so it's all it's all below me at this point. There's, there's another layer of people right here. <laughs> this is so stupid. Keep an eye out on this stuff. Okay, so this level is kind of clear. Okay, how about we'll do this? I hope nothing's breaking in over here. Okay, tell you what. If we die, then I'm going to totally feel like it's worth it. We got passing gas. We got Mosul Electronics. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff in here. What do we have over here? Ooh, Shotgun Messiah. And a bunch of rubber. Wait, hold on. That's the wrong game. <laughs> I was thinking on the last video of Sunken Land, I was in desperate need of a bunch of rubber, and I kept needing to find tires. Hang on, let's see, let's see if we can get some loot real quick. Uh, that's stuff. Um, also, one of the things I did do to get myself prepared to make some more ammo is I took apart some of the ammo for the weapon I couldn't necessarily use right that second. So that's one of the things you can do, like you can... Not with this specifically, but like ammo, you can open a bullet and you get the supplies. You get gunpowder and a bullet tip. You have to get the casings back. Hang on, let me let me keep an eye on things. Right, so that block's taking a little damage. We're okay for a moment. Oh my god. Okay, how about how about we go for Moe's Electronics first? All right, we got those opened at least. Let me see. Let me make sure we're okay for a second. All right, doing some damage. They're right up there, but they haven't busted through yet. I should be able to loot. <laughs> Inside this room, I have no idea. They could bust through this back wall here in any second. I wouldn't know it. Okay, that's stuff. More stuff. A battery I'll probably need eventually. And the more stuff. Okay, all right. Now, how about for the Shamway stuff? Maybe just maybe we can find some good food up in here. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like I'm just running around kicking landmines and waiting to see which one of them goes off. This place is dangerous. And the dog keeps like, oh, um, okay, we'll do that. Let's check the shamway boxes, food stuff, honey. No, that could probably be useful, especially today. Bag of peanuts and food stuff. Okay, we'll check it again. Oh my God, there is so many footsteps going on above me. I'm going to be real quiet for a second. Maybe they'll just forget I'm here. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can finish at least looting the main boxes here. We'll come back down for all the good loot. Or, well, this is the good loot. We'll come back down for all the extra loot. Because there's like a whole lot of stuff down here that could be beneficial. Especially all these gas barrels. You know, now that I have access to a vehicle. I'm just going to take everything and we'll look, see what we... Oh, there's a mini bike chassis. Okay, there's repair kits. Alright, how are we doing? How are we doing? We're okay for a second. <laughs> We're okay for a second. Let me loot these real quick. Get all the gas I can. Okay, I'm going to say that this place is as good as it needs to be for now. Holy crap. Oh, we need to get out of here. Things are going to start falling apart real fast. And the number of zombies is just getting higher. So let's, uh, hold on. Let's peek, see if anybody is in here. There was a box right here, but it got destroyed when, you know, I was shooting a zo uh, zombie bear. Make sure there's nothing else in here that I can get. 
Okay. All right. Let's see. What do we have in there? We got a couple supply crates. There's a snake. Yep. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to bid farewell to this particular location for just a little while. We'll be back. We'll definitely come back. We'll, def we'll definitely come back for sure. But not today. Holy sweet mama. Are we good for a second? <laughs> and I'm, again, I'm not 100% sure that that hatch right down there links around and maybe comes out here. So maybe it's like this is the back end of that. I don't necessarily know. But I broke apart the thing so they can't get out that way. And I have my land claim block here, which is A, how I was able to move all the stuff inside my base. And B, uh, keeps everything from respawning. At least I hope so. All right, so any extra gas I have, which is not much, I'll just throw in you. And we got some stuff. Let me see. I got a vehicle off-road headlight mod. I don't need you in here, but I'll put you in here uh, for now. Just make me a brighter headlight. I need a fuel saver mod, but I do not have that option yet. It's all dark and stormy outside. Okay, well, what time is it now? It's only noon o'clock. Okay, well, let me put some of this stuff away. And tell you what, let me see. You give me a little bit of health. I need to, I really need to work on some first aid stuff. Airdrop. Okay. Way over there, huh? All right, well, we'll do a quick one there. All right, let me drop all this stuff off and then we'll figure out what we're doing next. Two more notes and we're good to go. So what do I need? I'm pretty sure I, in order to be able to make anything major, like a actual first aid bandage or these, I have to have the physician perk unlock. And I don't think that's even going to be an option until I get the first class quest, which is going to be actual, which one is it? Scientist maybe? Yes. So I have to unlock the scientist quest in order to be able to unlock the physician quest. And I need to be able to get some bandages. Okay, well, here, here's what we can do. Um, that's all that I set over here to temporarily take with me to sell to the trader person. I cannot believe how... Uh, I cannot believe what it's like downstairs. It's just insane. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to run over right here real quick. Ooh, there's a tire right there too. Please give me a wheel. Give me a wheel. Give me a wheel. No wheel. How did I miss this one? I'm sure somebody pointed out by now that I missed that one, too. A little bit of ammo. Nice. Appreciate that game. Appreciate that. So we're going to run over to the trader real quick. Sell the couple things that I have and see if maybe he or she has any first aid. Because I can't really make it. That's going to be my biggest detriment, I think, right at the moment. Is that I can't make any kind of first aid. I can make the bandages that I have. Uh, you're crap yourself. These right here. These sterile bandages. I can make those with just regular bandages and sap from the tree. It gives you eight health. It's not a lot. Brazen healing speed is good. Stop. So it's basically a bandage, but just doesn't give you very much in the way of the healies. It doesn't give you very much health. And when you're down by half, getting eight at a time is not really that great. It is so... All right, so that's the new headlight. That's just with my helmet light on. Cool, cool. All right, well, let's head over to the trader real quick. Yeah, I got a wheel. Sweet. I think I need only two more left, and I'll have all the wheels I need for the next vehicle. I really am thinking about I'm going to make myself the mini, uh, not the mini, oh, there's one right there, the golf cart, just because I haven't had it before. In the last Darkness Falls series, I made myself the shopping cart. Absolutely terrible vehicle. It was atrocious, but it was funny. It, terribly difficult to drive, but it was at least funny. So, I need two more wheels, and then I can worry about a four-wheel vehicle. Unfortunately, a lot of the vehicles that I need, or that I have access to be able to build early, you have to unlock the Grease Monkey skill in order to be able to learn how to make the chassis and or the handlebars. So, even though I can craft the vehicle, I don't have the supplies to be able to do it. But the golf cart, the mini bike, and the bicycle, and I think even the, no, not the motorcycle. Just those three are available right this second. Hey, what's up, dude? goes it? It goes. All right, I need you to buy... You want a crappy hunting rifle? Okay, I'm going to sell you this one. Sell you my helmet. I threw two mods on there, give it a little bit of value. And that's about it. All right, do you have any first aid? You have antibiotics. I, shoot, I can't even afford your antibiotics. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. <laughs> I, well, I will. I feel like I have a choice. I do have, I go out the wrong way every single time. Look, I literally came out that door and made a ride, I think. Um, I do know where the next trader is. We just hadn't gone down there yet. Hey, girl, what's going on? Talk to me like Ace Ventura. Do you have any good bandages? Sterile ba- oh. Okay. 
Don't kick me off the ladder. That's just rude. Tell you what, I can buy all that you have there. It's only 100. And that'll give me enough. I can get 32 health from that. That's not horrible. It's not horrible. This stuff I have at the house. Vitamins are always good. Sterile bandages. See, I could buy all of our sterile bandages. You know what? You're welcome. Well, all right then. Thank you. So if nothing else... What are you looking for? Um... Well, I kind of got what I needed, so I could use a couple of these. Kind of get the health going back up. If I use three, that'll get plus 24 to the health, and then I still have a full stack and a half of bandages. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. We can, we can manage that. All right, so the airdrop is right over that way. Something else I wanted to look at, too, is I have two treasure maps. And where are you? Oh, okay, so we got one treasure map is on the way down to there. Where's the other treasure map? Right over here. We could technically do these, and then tomorrow we could go down to the other place. We could possibly do that. Um, where's my... Okay, get turned around in this place, because I run around the wrong way so many times. So how about we do that? Let me see. I don't know what time it is, but it's the middle of the daytime here. Let's go to Taylor's. We'll mark you. You are right over there. We'll go dig up this treasure because the treasure in Darkness Falls is much better than the treasure in regular vanilla Seven Days to Die. So you have a much better chance of getting some good loots through the treasure here. So it's absolutely worth doing. So what I could do is I could get this one today, go over, get the airdrop, head back towards the house. And then tomorrow what we can do is we can head down and open up the trade route the other direction. Oh, that's actually pretty good for food and health. Sure. Let's use you and crossbow bolt. Can you open the crossbow bolts? You can. What do you get for those? You get just the iron arrowheads? That's not bad. Okay, cool. At least you can open those. I'll right, we'll keep an eye out for other things as we're coming over here because we're going a little bit further than what we've been to total so far. There's Lois hanging out. Alrighty, so it's kind of... Uh-oh. So it's kind of on a hill. Oh, God! Okay, did I get the shot? Did I, did I get the hit, I mean? Ha <laughs> ha, I did. Eat a whole bag, man. Hadn't run into you in a little while. Got some honey from you. Here comes Jiggles. Was that your pet bee? Well, come here, you. Stab you right in the eye hole. Eh, nasty. All right, there was, I swear I saw. Did I pick up the yucca that was there? I did. Okay, I was about to say, I know I saw a yucca tree when I first pulled up here before we got distracted by um, bees and boobs. All right, so it's... Oh, hey, hang on. We got to deal with Bruce, too, here. Rawr to you, too. What's up, Bruce? Yeah, stay down. All right, so we got a little bit of a hill we have to deal with here. So technically, I could deal, dig in from the side. Might help out a little bit. I'm not sure if it's going to count any of this as rock. I mean... Speaking of, let me pick up a stone or two real quick so I can repair my crappy shovel, which I do know I just sold a scrap iron shovel. They're, they're not that great, but compared to what I have, I can repair this one with rocks. It's not a big deal. Okay, well, let's get to digging. We need all the clay, too, because I used a bunch of it to make a bunch of forged iron. So this is actually a double good thing for this meeting. Or uh, this meeting. <laughs> this mission. Got to be very quiet. There's a small horde running past, and I have to say, Taylor is a bit of a jerk. Holy crap! That's not more. That's not just a small horde. There's some radiated or yeah, there's some glowies up in this little spot here. I see a couple big mamas. We don't have the ammo for this. If things go down, we're gonna hoof it, and we are driving back to the house. We are not dealing with this. We don't have the ammo for this kind of crap here. Should probably make sure everything's reloaded just in case I need to, you know, blast my way out of this hole. Good Lord. Yeah, Taylor buried this treasure at the core of the earth, I think. We've dug out a small canyon. It reminds me of some old Minecraft days, basically. Of You just find a wall, start digging into it until you finally get to, you know, this giant cave opening, and then you're good to go. Might as well repair. I don't have a rock. Yep, there's, they, so far, they don't know where I'm at just yet. But I'm trying very hard to be uh, quiet so I don't wake them up a little bit and let them know that I'm over here. At least they're not over there by the house. I can hear crickets are chirping, so we definitely are getting later in the day, too. This hole is taking way longer to dig than I thought it was going to. Need y'all to 
keep on. Okay, so there's a few of you that are not quite up to the task of jogging. I get it. I see Carl, I see Blobby, and I see a glowy big mama right over there. None of them have any desire to run. They're like, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm really good. We've got to be getting close. This circle has shrunk down to right over here, basically. It's, I've got to be getting close. So we're going to get this dang treasure. Regardless of what happens to me, we're getting this treasure. There it is. Freaking finally. Now I have to hope I can lockpick this bad boy. I'm out of freaking lockpicks. How long will it take me to beat in on this thing here? Oh, yeah. oh crap. Okay, here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to nope. There's a lot going on over here. There's a lot happening. Um, hang on, we, we might be able to salvage this. I don't even know what time it is. It's not gonna be long before these idiots start running at me. The decaying radiators aren't as bad. They still blow up and have a lot more health, but they don't run. Hey, hold on. We'll let you just explode. Maybe you can help me with your my mining purposes. Do your thing. Lovely, lovely. Ew, that's nasty. Okay, so the decaying radiators are not too bad. I can handle them. As long as there's not a tremendous group of them, as long as they don't start running at me. There's still a large group of idiots right over there. Nope. <clears throat> Do your thing. That is nasty. That is nasty, Big Mama. If you be real quiet, I think we'll be okay. God, I cannot believe how long it took me to find that stupid thing. I don't know if he sees this or not. He might not. If we start banging on this um, locked box over here with a pickaxe, we're definitely going to alert everybody that's here. I'm going to have to finish digging out this tiny little hole. This is, uh, today is just a day of putting myself in really bad, dangerous situations, you know? Can't believe I broke my two lockpicks. Alright, uh, let me see. I definitely need to bust this one out, because every time I swing, I'll hit this instead of the actual crate itself. Yeah, we're gonna have to just get some more lockpicks and come back. First time I hit that, we alerted everybody that's over here. It is absolutely time for things to run, and this pickaxe I have is not going to work. So tell you what. We are going to live to play another day. And we've we've said that before. I'm not I'm brave, not stupid. We're going home. It is nighttime. It is dark outside. All the idiots that are here are very quickly running now. And I'm not going to put myself into a situation where I'm going to risk dying out here in the middle of nowhere and then have to hoof it all the way back over here tomorrow morning. So we're going to drive our happy butts all the way back home and then we're going to hang out over there. I'm going to see if I can make me some more lock picks. I don't know if I have that skill or not. I can't remember. But today was an interesting day. We figured out that underneath our base, it's like cabin in the woods down there. There is so much going on underneath us that's just absolutely dangerous. Hang on, I need to go. That, hold on, that's the trader. We have a little ways to go to get back home, but we can we can outdrive these idiots as long as we don't crash. Yeah, so underneath the base is dangerous. We're slowly making our way through that. Uh, we have to go finish digging up this treasure. We do that tomorrow. Go get the airdrop. And uh, then we can maybe head over there and see if the other traders got anything good for us as well. I'm going to look for some more tires as well because I want to get myself a cooler vehicle than this old mini bike. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you're not already, click the bell so you get notified when videos go live. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.